Hi, this is Megan Bass Petty and my cat Flash, who will not go away. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a video about loosening up tension in your neck, your shoulders, your back, and possibly your hips. Um, we've been in this kind of stay at home mode now for roughly a little bit over a month and just in that month's time we're already hearing things like zoom fatigue so sitting in front of online meetings all day sitting in front of your computer all day um, <clears throat> is becoming more and more common so that's creating problems with our postures with our neck with our shoulders our backs uh, i know it has been for me lately so uh, just doing a couple things to help unwind some of that and starting just in a comfortable seated position. So I'm sitting up on a pillow. If you wanna sit on a pillow or a cushion or a folded blanket, feel free to do that. If you wanna start lying down, also another good option. So resting your hands anywhere on your legs that feel comfortable, relax your shoulders, close your eyes or soften your gaze down towards the floor. Taking a breath in and out. Noticing how it feels to breathe with your eyes closed or your gaze soft. How does your posture feel? Do you feel any areas of tension just as you're sitting here or lying down? Now you can keep your eyes closed or open them if you like and bring your shoulders up towards your ears. And with this position of shoulders up towards your ears, try and take a deep breath. And then relax your shoulders back down and try to take another deep breath. Notice the difference, maybe bringing your shoulders up towards your ears again. Try and take a slow breath in. And relax your shoulders back down. And another slow breath in. You can blink your eyes open if they were closed. So did you notice any difference between trying to take a deep breath with your shoulders scrunched up towards your ears as we're often doing if we're typing furiously or on our phones versus when the shoulders are relaxed down. So there's been a lot of research on how your posture affects mood, that affects your mood, affects your emotions, affects your ability to regulate those things. So if we're constantly in stress, mode or stress position like this, it's going to be a lot harder to be relaxed. If you bring your shoulders up like this and hunch your back, do you feel relaxed? I'm guessing no, unless maybe this is your position all the time, in which case it doesn't feel much different. But then if you start to relax your shoulders down, lengthen up through the crown of your head, how does that feel? So to me, that feels more spacious. I have a little bit more ability to breathe in the rib cage and in the belly, so maybe you do as well. So we're gonna try a pranayama called resurrection breath, which is one of my favorites for um, coming back to your center and calming down. So this is a great one anytime you're feeling agitated or things are kind of out of control. You don't have to do it as part of a yoga practice, you can just do it anytime. So bring your head to the left, you're going to inhale and exhale, purse your lips. Inhale, exhale, purse the lips and blow it away. Inhale through the center. 
turn your head to the right, softly pulse two times with the breath. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left, one long, slow breath. So breathing as you come through the center, inhale through your nose. When you blow out, blow out as if you're blowing through a straw. So two pulses to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left, one long, slow breath. You're gently pressing your past away. Maybe just your worries. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right, pulse two times with the breath. Inhale to the center. Exhale left, gently let the past or your worries go. Inhale, center. As you gently do put two pulses to the right, keep the future at bay. We're not there yet. Coming back to the center, to the present moment, inhale. Exhale, left, press away your worries. Inhale, center. Exhale, not to the future yet. One more inhale to the center. And then breathe slowly through pursed lips. Close your eyes a second or soften your gaze. Tune into your body and any sensations you're feeling. And then bringing your left hand over your heart, maybe adding your right hand as well. Coming into an intention for your practice today. Maybe you've been burning the candle a little bit too much at both ends lately. Maybe you have not been burning the candle at all. So where are we falling on that spectrum? bringing into your intention either a little bit more fire, you need to maybe a little bit more uh, tapas, a little more heat into each day. And if you're burning both ends of the candle, maybe you need to relax and take a little more time for yourself. Easier said than done right now, I realize a lot is going on but just having that intention. Maybe adding a soft smile to the corners of your mouth. And letting your hands release. So from the seated position, if you're sitting with cross legs, go ahead and change the cross of your legs since we've been here for a while. I'm gonna start working from the top down, so from the neck. So just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Come through the center. Left ear to left shoulder. And just take a few soft neck rolls or half neck rolls. You can close your eyes, feeling into the sensations in your neck, in your shoulders. Maybe pausing somewhere that feels tight or stiff. And coming to the center, inhale your chin back up and start to look up towards the ceiling. Just let your head drop back as long as that's okay for your neck. Not jutting your chin upwards, just lifting the head. And relax back down. So take your 
hands behind your back and interlace your fingers together. If that's not available, just hold opposite wrists or opposite forearms and start to bring your hands or whatever you're holding on to over towards your right hip. And so your elbow is going to naturally come out here to the side. See if you can draw it back in and then start to drop your ear towards your shoulder. So gentle stretch on the opposite side of your neck. And then inhale back up to center. Switch your hands over to the other hip. Draw your elbow back behind you. And again, drop your ear towards your shoulder. So one side may be tighter than the other. That is perfectly normal. And then inhaling back up to the center, release the arms, bring your fingers in the front, interlace them again, press your palms away, drop your chin to your chest. And inhale back up to the center, bring your fingertips down by your hips, press into the floor, lift tall through your spine, Roll your shoulders down and back, and maybe this is enough in your heart area, in your chest area, this little lift here with the shoulders down and back, or maybe press it into a gentle back bend just in the upper part of your spine. And then release. So help your legs up, bring your hands under your thighs, bring your legs out to the front, Give them a little shake, a little wiggle. And then bringing your legs all the way around to the front of your mat, coming off whatever you're sitting on, if you're sitting on something. I'm gonna move into some, uh, mostly somatic exercises, but also some yoga, uh, typical yoga asana as well. So holding onto the back of your legs, slowly roll all the way down. Once you come down onto your back, walk your feet in so they're right in front of your hips. Again, maybe tuck your shoulder blades under you slightly. Inhale as you lift the arms back and up behind you. And exhale, bring them down. Slowly lift the arms. And if they don't come anywhere back by the ears or by the floor, that's fine. Exhale. Bring them back down. Inhale, lift any amount. Exhale down. This time maybe adding a lift of the hips. Inhale, lift the hips, roll up the spine, lift the arms. Exhale back down. Slowly come down one vertebra at a time. Inhale. Tuck your pelvis, roll up your spine, lift your arms. Exhale, slowly release back down. One last time, inhaling up. This time staying here with the hips lifted. See if you can relax your glute muscles, your bottom. And let your arms uh, relax down towards the floor, even if they don't come all the way. Turn your palms to face the ceiling and just let your arms become heavy. And then slowly bring the arms down as you roll back down your spine. And starting to bring your arms out into a cactus or goalpost position, elbows bent, palms face the ceiling. Just resting here for a moment, letting the heart open, letting the shoulders open. And then walk your feet a little bit closer together so your feet are almost touching, 
but not quite. And bring your arms down by your sides, palms facing up, so maybe at about a 45 degree angle. And start to roll your palms inward and down, so your thumbs touch the floor and then your pinkies roll up towards the ceiling, shoulders curl in. Exhale, roll your arms back out, coming across the top of your hands, touching your thumbs, pinky spiral up to the ceiling, and coming back down the other way. Roll your arms in internal rotation, shoulders roll in, pinkies turn up. Exhale, open the arms, roll them back open. Thumbs touch down, pinky, pinkies come up towards the ceiling. And adding on to that, this time as your arms roll inward and your thumbs come down, press your knees together and lift your chin. Press your low back into the mat. So you're in a closed body position. As you bring your chin back to neutral, Relax your back, start to roll your arms or, uh, back outward so your thumbs touch down, pinkies point up towards the ceiling and your knees fall open. Chin starts to come towards your chest. So open body position on the front. And come the other direction, rolling the hands down, thumbs come towards the floor, knees press together, low back presses down, chin lifts, inhaling, exhale, spiral the arms outward, thumbs come towards the floor, knees fall open, low back arches, and your chin comes towards your chest. So one more of those. Roll your arms inward as the knees come together. Press the knees, press the low back down. Internally rotate your arms. Lift your chin up a little bit. And then exhale, softly roll everything open. Knees fall out, arms rotate outwards, chin towards your chest low back arch and then release your legs straight out release your arms down by your sides just check in notice how your body feels and walk your feet back in knees are bent and reach your arms up towards the ceiling. So just noticing the motion in your shoulder, you're gonna take your left hand, reach up towards the ceiling, feel your shoulder come out of the socket, exhale back down. Inhale, reach the right hand up, and exhale down. So imagine there's a rope and you're going to climb the rope, grabbing a hold with your left hand, left shoulder lifts, exhale, release. The only thing moving is your arm. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, down. Inhale, we'll lift the right hand towards the ceilings if you're going to grab that rope and release, soften the arms down towards the floor. Again, just notice how they feel. And then bringing your arms out to the sides. I'm a little bit stuck here with the wall, so we'll just imagine I have this arm straight. And as your right hand, we're doing the same internal, external rotation that we did a moment ago. So as your right hand comes into internal rotation and rolls forward, your knees will fall to the left and you'll turn your chin over towards your right shoulder. 
as your right arm opens up, knees come back up to the center, inhale, and as your left hand rotates down and inward, your knees fall to the right, your gaze goes to the left. Inhale to the center as you lift the knees, turn the left palm back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, turn your right hand down and your right arm comes in as your knees fall left, chin looks right. Inhale, roll your arm back open, lift the knees up. Exhale, left hand turns down, shoulder rolls in, knees fall left. I'm sorry, right, and chin goes left. And one more time, inhaling to the center, roll your left arm open. Exhale, roll your right arm down, knees fall left, gaze goes right. Inhale, right arm rolls open as your knees fall right, left arm rolls in, gaze turns to the left. Inhale back to the center and release your arms down by your sides, straighten your legs. Notice how you feel, maybe even closing your eyes. And then walking your feet back in, so they're right in front of your hips. We'll do a little uh, strengthening and uh, release for the neck. So you can have your hands resting on your belly, you can have them down by your sides, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna lift the chin straight up towards the ceiling, just a small amount, so as if you had like a, a saucer or a teacup sitting on your chin or the tip of your nose and you don't want to spill it, so you're going straight up. So inhale, lift the nose up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release back down. You may notice you cannot lift your head very far. Your head is very heavy, and if your neck isn't strong, it's not going to lift very far, so that's okay. So inhale, just lift a little tiny bit if that's the case, maybe a little higher, and release. Inhale, lift up, exhale, release. The last one, inhale, lift, and exhale, release. When you set your head down, just turn your chin to the left and to the right a few times. Coming back to the center, this one is a little strange. So bring your palm to your forehead. Just let it rest there. Start to bring your chin down towards your chest and then very gently take the palm on the skin on the forehead to start to gently pull the skin up towards your hairline as your chin comes down. So you're strengthening tiny little muscles in the back of your neck and then soften. Release your neck to neutral. We'll just do this two times. So place your hand again on your forehead. Start to bring your chin towards your chest. Very gently pull the skin of your forehead up with the palm of your hand towards your hairline. And release. Bring your arms back down by your sides. Just notice how your neck is feeling. Maybe turn it again side to side. Turning your head side to side. And then crossing your right ankle over your left thigh. Bring your hands to your thighs. Just gently press your thighs away. So you may feel some lengthening in your spine or in your hips. And 
then release, start to bring your left leg in towards your chest, clasping on behind your thigh or holding onto your pants, maybe slipping a belt or a strap around the back of your leg to pull it in. Flexing your right foot on the top, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your face. And then keeping that shape, softly set your left foot down. Bring your arms out into cactus or into a T-shape. Start to let your right foot fall over towards the floor. So it may not come all the way to the floor if your hips are feeling really tight. You may want to set a pillow or a block underneath there if it's just dangling. And once you're in this position, maybe turning your chin back towards the right shoulder. And bringing the chin back to the center. Inhale the legs back to the center. And uncross your foot, crossing your left foot over. Flex your foot. And then again, gently press hands against your thighs. Find a little length in your spine. Relax your jaw, your face, your shoulders. And then start to bring your right leg in towards your chest as long as that feels okay to do so, clasping a hold of anything you can grab a hold of, softening again the shoulders and the face, flexing your left foot. And then softly release your foot back down, setting your left foot down. Bring your knees as wide as your mat and let the knees fall side to side. And pressing yourself up and coming all the way up. Coming into a hands and knees position. So wrists right under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Take a few little circles of the torso, just roll everything out. Notice any changes you're feeling in, in your body or any shifts that are happening and go the other way. And coming back to the center, bringing the knees wide, sitting back towards the child's pose. So any amount, you don't have to sit all the way back to your heels. You can always sit on a pillow or a yoga block. And just reach forward through your arms, getting that stretch underneath your armpits and into your shoulders or setting the head down. And walking your hands all the way back up, bringing your knees in and together, and either sitting on your heels or on a pillow, a block, or maybe a chair if sitting down like this is not comfortable for you. And bringing your arms out to the side, bring your right hand back to touch the back of your shoulder, bring your left hand behind your back. So no need necessarily to clasp your hands. There's no way my hands are even close to each other right now because I'm very feeling very tight in my shoulders. 
So gently lift your right elbow up, feeling that opening on the right side. Just a few breaths here. You can even close your eyes, tuning into that sensation. And then release your hand that's behind your back. Reach up and over, gently grab a hold of your elbow and just take a little side stretch. Let that release come back to the center. Release both arms, bring your right arm across your body. Do like a little forklift here with the left arm and draw it in, stretching the back of your right shoulder. And gently let that release. Bend your left hand, or bend your left hand, bend your left elbow, bringing the palm towards the back of your neck or your upper part of your shoulders. Take your right hand, bring it behind your back so you're, t you're touching the uh, top of your hand to your low back, your mid back, your upper back. If you can clasp your hands, feel free to do so. But we're trying not to struggle in this class or strain. So keeping it nice and gentle. And then starting to open up your left elbow a little bit more towards the back. Noticing if this causes any feelings of tension in your body. Do you feel your body bracing or resisting against it? If so, just try and soften it. Maybe take it back so you're not pressing your elbow back so hard. Just soften the elbow. And then gently release the hand behind your back. Reach all the way up, grabbing a hold of your elbow. And take a little side stretch. And gently let that come back to center and release. Draw your left arm across your body. Make that little forklift with the right arm. Stretch the back of the shoulder. Keeping your chin in a position that feels good for your neck. And soften and let that release. Take a few rolls of the shoulders to the back. And now to the front. Let me come away from the wall a little bit. So we'll do some little propeller arms. So bringing your arms out to the side as you circle one arm forward, bring the other arm back. Oops, still too close to the wall for me. <laughs> so make sure you have some space around you as if you're kind of doing a very um, wide uh, front stroke when you're swimming, but you're keeping the arms really big. If you have any shoulder injury or impingement here, of course, keep that smaller. So moving within your own range of motion and then start to go to the back. So trying to make nice wide circles instead of a lot of times a swimming stroke is very much like up and back. So really wide. Just a few more times. And then release back to the center. Bring your fingertips behind your head. Press your elbows open. Maybe lift the heart or the gaze. And exhale, bring the elbows together. Chin towards your chest. Belly button pulls towards your spine. Staying here. And open the elbows back up, release the arms. Maybe close your eyes a minute. Notice any sensations in your body right now. How do your shoulders feel, your neck, your back? And 
and then coming back to hands and knees. We'll find a puppy pose or heart melting pose. So start to walk your hands forward in a wide V. You can always have a pillow, a folded blanket or a block under your forehead, or just stretch the arms forward as you drop the forehead down towards the floor. Slide your hands back in a little bit, press up, and lower your hips down, lower your forearms down, finding a sphinx pose. So press down into the forearms, lift the heart, press into the tops of the feet evenly, maybe engage your leg muscles. And then release all the way down onto your belly, bringing your arms out into a T and setting your right cheek down on the floor. Bring your left hand closer to your face, come up onto your fingertips, start to press into your fingertips and roll towards your right shoulder. So you may just get about this far and your shoulder's really tight, that's fine. If you can step your foot all the way behind you, you can do that. You can also take your left hand up and behind you in a half bind, opening the left shoulder, but keeping fingers on the floor is perfectly good. And release that hand back down, press your fingertips into the floor. So as you roll to your belly, lift your head slightly, no pressure on the neck and bring the left arm out into a T. Come up onto your right fingertips. Start to roll to your left shoulder, which may be different, so maybe only come a little bit, or maybe bring the foot all the way behind you. If you're taking that half bind, you can bring the arm behind your back. release your arm, bringing your fingertips down, press into your fingertips, lift your head slightly, roll to your belly, and fold both arms underneath your forehead, sending your forehead down, and just let your hips rock side to side. And then pressing yourself all the way up to one more child's pose, knees wide or knees together. An option I like to take some time is sitting back on your heels and bringing your arms down by your sides. So you're in more of this kind of protective position, setting your head down on, on the mat or a pillow or a blanket, closing your eyes, returning to your breath. Slowly come all the way back up. Shift to one side, bring your legs all the way around to the front. Come back to the center of your mat, coming all the way down onto your back. Once you're down on your back, take, uh, if you have a pillow, you can do this without any props, but if you have a pillow or a block or a folded blanket, Place it underneath your feet. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall open. 
Bring your hands to your belly, your one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Roll your shoulders slightly under you and just relax in this position. If this open body position does not feel safe or comfortable, bring your feet to the mat, close your knees together and relax this way. So whichever one feels better to you today, it may vary from day to day. You can always lay a blanket or a pillow across your hips also. And then bring the knees back together. Release any prop that you have next to you. And let your knees just fall side to side, windshield wiper again. And then stretching the legs long, bring your legs out to the corners of your mat. Bring your arms wide above you. Just feel that stretch through your whole body. Feel the opening in the armpit area in your front part of your arms, the back part of your shoulders, your neck, maybe a little movement side to side with the neck if that feels okay. Keeping your arms lowered and your elbows bent if this bothers the shoulders at all. And for your final Shavasana, just bring your arms down by your sides, palms facing up. You can again, take one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart, if that feels better to do so. Take any last little wiggles to get comfortable. Maybe do a few sighs with your mouth open. So inhaling through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Finding quiet in your mind, quiet in your body. When you're ready, rolling your wrists and your ankles. Reaching up for a big stretch overhead. Stretch through your toes, arch your back. And then gently roll to one side, cradling your head in a fetal position on your arms. leaving behind any stress that you came to the mat with, any tension, just leave it here. When you're ready, gently press yourself all the way back up. Coming into a seated position to close your practice Bringing your palms to press at heart center, pressing your thumbs into your heart, feel your heart beating for you, having gratitude 
for your heart beating for you. I wanted to close with this quote today by Dr. Linda Pettit. There is nothing so urgent that it needs to be done pushing against the body. So if right now in this uh, kind of chaotic time, if you're feeling as though you're pushing against your body, your body's resisting things that you're doing, that's a sign, that's a message that you have to slow down. So bringing your, your hands in, pressing your thumbs into your heart, closing your eyes or softening your gaze, reminding yourself to listen, to listen to the messages in your body, to tune into any feedback you're getting, to any recurrent issues with tightness or stress. You are worth taking the time to feel better, to relax, and to let your body release. Touching your thumbs to your forehead, honoring that inner wisdom that guides you. Thumbs back to the heart, from my heart to yours. Thank you for letting me guide your practice today. I hope you're feeling better, feeling more open and relaxed and released. Namaste. Thank you.